Today, we realize that this issue is going to last a long, long time. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. So, I tried to buy a GPU again. So I went to Canada Computers and tried to buy a GPU. It's a brand new day, it's a brand new launch. And today, we're trying to buy an RX 6700 XT. There's only two people in front of me uh, in the line. And uh, if history is to be believed, these two people are there just to pick up a computer or something. You guys have 6700 XT? You need to know this. Okay. I got no memory of what he said right there, but he shook his head no as he said it. So I decided to wander the store a little with my very, very poorly stabilized OnePlus 60 camera. And wow, look at this. It got so much worse. Look at what the shelves here in Canada look like. Honestly, it's probably very representative of the US and European markets right now. Nothing but a couple of two gigabyte GT 1030s and a good amount of GT 710s. I asked them to give me the box so I could peep the specs a little because quite honestly I had forgotten but hey at least they have the GDDR5 version of the GT1030 and not the SDDR4. Huge FPS gains here gamers. In any case this and a small piece of news got me thinking and I realized something pretty bad. This shortage slash scalping situation is going to last for a long time. A report from the Information Network has detailed the revenue shares from one of the largest chip manufacturers in the world, TSMC. Now, the chart is broken down in percentage of revenue made by TSMC from each of their customers and includes the year 2019, 2020, and 2021. Now, if we look at the trend, Apple is a constant but a still growing customer of TSMC at a whopping 25% of the revenue generated by the foundry. The second largest customer was Huawei, which was manufacturing their high silicon chips, but they're out of the running, which means that AMD is now the second largest customer customer of TSMC. That's great. More money, more chips, more GPUs. So how is this bad news? Well, technically, it's not bad. AMD has a larger share, Intel has a larger share, so all is good, right? Well, these companies and TSMC also have way bigger responsibilities now. For AMD, they now have to manufacture millions of consoles at a matured 7 nanometer process for Microsoft and Sony. And Intel has been testing the waters for a couple of years now with chipset manufacturing at TSMC. And despite not knowing 100% for sure, TSMC seems like the right contender to manufacture Intel graphics. And while it's also not confirmed, Nvidia is building a new chip for the Switch and it could be manufactured there too. So the GPU capacity isn't or will not really be increased, which brings us to the actual issue. Mining. You probably know it's an issue, but why and for how long will it be won? Right now, the most profitable coin to mine is Ethereum, and it was designed specifically for GPU mining since it is the most accessible. The thing is, Ethereum is undergoing a progressive upgrade called Ethereum 2.0. In that upgrade, GPU mining will slowly be less useful for the coin infrastructure as the system moves from proof of work to proof of stake. Eventually, mining will be completely phased out. That's great, right? Except that it won't be stopped until phase three, which is currently set for sometime in 2022 at the earliest. This means it could be 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027. If this is how much TSMC can produce right now at full throttle, the miners will gladly just keep snatching the GPUs. Not only that, but who says another coin won't pop off to the moon as an opportunity for miners? To address one last thing here, you might think that TSMC can just build another fab, right? We can wait another six months. Yeah, but it will take a couple of years, not months, and billions of dollars. Not only are we talking about building the new fab, the infrastructure, but the equipment inside it too, which is not made by TSMC. And when these parts are ordered, they can take a couple of months to a year to build. Plus, after all that, you just need to tack on an extra three months because that's how long it takes to manufacture the actual wafers. So yeah, this is gonna suck. There is a silver lining though. Little by little, some people do get their GPUs. If you're dedicated enough, pressing F5 enough, and pre-order enough, you will likely get yours in 2021. Just don't buy one from the scalpers. It's not worth it. 
Anyways, guys, this was my two cents with this piece of news. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's topic because it is actually interesting and I'd love uh, to read your opinion and also answer. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. You could take me anywhere you'd rather go Till the day is over, I just wanna know